Imagine a bustling metropolis nestled in the heart of the American desert west, where cutting-edge infrastructure meets carefully crafted roads buzzing with self-driving electric cars. A city that seamlessly blends the vibrant energy of New York and the technological sophistication of Tokyo, and solves many of the issues modern cities face today, like pollution and poor sustainability. Well, in September 2021, billionaire Mark Lore presented plans for Tolosa, a $400 billion megacity to be built in the U.S. desert, which is to be the American version of Saudi Arabia's The Lie. Telosa's website has named Idaho, Utah, Nevada, Arizona, and Texas as some of the possible sites to be used. But the question remains, why are they even building Telosa, and is it actually possible? The city is projected to house up to 5 million people, and equity among those people is Telosa's highest purpose. Futuristic ideas like this come with ambitious designs, and in the case of Telosa, it promises the production of sustainable energy, an ecological architecture, and a water system capable of making the most of scarce resources. All these to be laid out on approximately 40.6 square miles of land, which is almost two times the size of Manhattan. To ensure the city sustainability, the planners aim to incorporate solar roof tiles for every home and aeroponic farms. This aeroponic farming system aims to ensure that crops yield properly while consuming little water. Also, mobility within the Tolosa is a priority, as they intend to have 36 districts arranged as 15-minute cities. This will be done such that the needs of the residents will be within walking distances. Nonetheless, there will be a public transport system, and while EVs are allowed, fossil fuel dependent vehicles will not be allowed. As you might imagine, the city is expected to feature several education centers, retailers, and cultural centers. These are to be surrounded by public places for inhabitants to congregate and exchange cultures. And then, standing tall in the middle of the city will be the Equitism Tower, otherwise known as the Beacon of the City. This dream project is being promoted as a new model for society, with Equitism as a key focus. In case you're wondering, Equitism is a mix of capital capitalism, democracy, and socialism. It is to be achieved through a plan that's centered on citizen participation. As Mark Lore put it, the concept of equitism focuses on an economic structure in which citizens own a stake in the city's property. Through Tolosa, Mark Lore aims to establish a global standard for urban living while developing the human potential. And by that, we mean the project intends to combine the diversity of New York, the cleanliness of Tokyo, and Stockholm's effective social structure. During his presentation, Mark Lore also outlined what was wrong with the old system, saying, Cities built from the past up to date are more like real estate ventures. They don't place individuals in the center. Because if you started with people at the center, you'd instantly ask yourself, okay, what's the mission and what are the values? Thus, to achieve the dream, the billionaire has already entrusted the idea to the famed American architectural firm Bjark Ingels Group. Also, the organization has unveiled the first digital rendition of the project as to persuade investors. Like Mark Lore, Big Bjark Ingels has also revealed the uniqueness of the project. He said, Tolosa embodies the social and environmental care of Scandinavian culture with the opportunities of American civilization. In order to achieve that, and because of the huge cost, the first phase of the project is expected to only involve the transfer of 50,000 diverse people to 1,500 acres of land. Now, this is expected to cost about $25 billion, and is expected to be available by 2030. As for the rest of the project, it is expected to be fully operational in the next 40 years. Now, unlike Saudi Arabia's The Line, this project's completion time is longer, so its success rate may be marginally higher. However, Tolosa still has problems like most of the other proposed future cities. One potential difficulty could be the rapidly dwindling water levels across the western part of the U.S. Indeed, places around that area have been plagued by a two decade drought. For instance, the city of Phoenix is already experiencing water shortages and is unlikely to share the already limited supply. Now, unlike successful desert megacities such as Dubai, Tolosa will not enjoy the luxury of having an ocean nearby. This would mean that they will not be able to rely on desalination for water. Thus, the question of how water would be obtained still remains unanswered. Another potential problem is that Tolosa's desert location brings with it political and logistical 
practical challenges. These include formation of a government, obtaining zoning and building permissions, not to mention how they would link to existing resource and transportation infrastructure. Other megacity projects like the line do not have this problem because the project is government owned. Also, there's the obvious problem of funding because raising $400 billion to build a metropolis from the ground up is no joke. Even Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman with his enormous personal fortune still struggles with raising the $500 billion required for his Neob City project. Besides all these issues, also rests the fact that not everyone likes the idea of equitism, especially when it's being proposed by a wealthy person. The fact that it has recently become common for millionaires to propose such large cities from the ground up further worsens the situation. From Saudi Arabia's Neob to China's Zhang'an, these megacities are frequently viewed as the creation of a single visionary with minimal participation from the community. Nonetheless, the Tolosa project has a silver lining. Although it may not end up as the utopia that Mark Lohr imagined, it may still serve as a model for sustainable and fair urban development. For instance, Tolosa's emphasis on extreme sustainability sets it apart from many modern cities and could be a framework for future urbanization of rural and urban locations. So, this is the reason the U.S. is building a $400 billion city in the desert to build a sustainable and fair society from the ground up with people at its core. But would you like to live there? If you enjoyed this, check out our video about the line and subscribe for more.